Let's talk about resistors and how the resistor values were selected. You know, how did they come up with 27, 33, 47, 58, and so on? So resistors are manufactured with tolerances, 20%, 10%, 5%, etc. Now, most of them are, uh, these days are 5% or below, but they, you know, they started out at 20%. So we need to choose resistors that don't have overlapping values due to the tolerances, okay? So if you had a one ohm resistor at 20%, it could have a, be a, at 1.8 ohms or at 1.2 uh, ohms, and that would still be within its tolerance. So the next higher value, you don't want it to overlap with this one, so they picked 1.5 ohms. So, and uh, at that, you could have a 1.2 ohms or a 1.8 ohm resistor, okay? And would we'll still be within its tolerance, so, so we don't want those to overlap. So to avoid any overlap values due to tolerances, manufacturers use a constant multiplier, okay? So we're going to take a look at the 20%, which is the E6 series. So E6 is, there's six resistors in each decade, okay? So they use the same num numbers throughout all the decades. So you have 1, 1 1.5, 2.2, 3.3, 4.7, and 6.8. And then the next one, you'd have 10, 15, you know, 22, 33, 47, 68, and then 100, 150, you know, 220, 330, and so on, all the way into the mega ohm range, okay? So to get these numbers, they use this formula here. Now, we're going to let Rn be the, the given nominal value and Rn plus 1 be the next higher value, okay? So Rn plus 1, the next higher value is going to be equal to 1.2, which is 20% over, uh, divided by 0.8, which is 20% under, times that, that previous resistor, okay, the Rn. Now, that's 1.5 times Rn, so uh, if the previous resistor was 1, and you take 1.5 times that, your next resistor would have to be 1.5 ohms, okay? So they wouldn't have overlapping values, okay? So the uh, um, next higher value resistor should be 50% lar larger than the, the previous resistor, the one before it, okay? So that means that they have a constant multiplier of uh, 1.5. Now, manufacturers agreed to have a, a, a multiplier of 1.468, but this that changes up. They don't want it um, to be over 50%, but they wanted these values to be equal to the same values in, in the 10% uh, 10, 10, uh, series and in the 5% series. These are the 5% resistors here. So you have 1, you have 1.5, you have the 2.2, the 3.3, the uh, 4.7, and 6.8. So the same values in all the, the uh, um, series of resistors, okay? So you're always going to have these same numbers, okay? So this is the uh, the 5% um, is the E24. That means there's 24 uh, resistors in each decade, okay? So here they are, the same thing. So you'd have, uh, you know, 1, and then, you know, uh, this one would be 15, same thing, 22, and so on, and uh, 100, 100 ohms or, uh, you know, one, uh, 1K, 10K, 100K up to mega ohms, okay? 24 of them in that series, okay? To get those values, you take your, uh, the next higher value is going to be equal to 1.05, 5% over, divided by 0.95, uh, you know, 5% under, times the previous value of resistors, so that's 1.1052 times that value to get your next, uh, uh, next value of resistor, okay? So the uh, next higher resistor, should be 10.5% 10, 10 larger than the, the previous resistor. So your multiplier is going to be uh, 1.1025, okay? So there again, they wanted to keep these in line with the other resistors so that the numbers are all the same. So the 10% resistors, there's going to be uh, fewer of those than the 5%, the, uh, but same same numbers, same values there, okay? So I put down the, the multipliers down here that they use. Uh, you know, this was 11, 10.9, uh, 10.6. Uh, so they tweaked it around a little bit so that the, the values would always be the same same values there, you know. So that's how we get the these values here. They come up with a multiplier, but then they tweak them so that the, uh, you know, the 20%, the 10%, and the 5% values uh, are all the same numbers, okay? Now, if you uh, buy a... Um, common resistor kits 
there'll be maybe 35 resistors in there of different values. And uh, so these are usually the, the values they give you, 10, 22, 47, 100, 150, you know, uh, 200 ohms, 230, 330 ohms. Uh, you know, if at 5%, they, you know, this is just one decade here, there'd be 24, and then you'd have, you know, one for the tens, hundreds, you know, uh, um, kilo ohms and, and the 10K and 100K, you'd have, a, you'd have a ton of resistors. So they usually just give you the, these, these values here to work with, okay? But you can order any of these values you want, but uh, usually that's what you, what you have to work with is these values here. But anyway, that's, uh, that's how they come up with the, uh, the resistor values. They just didn't want them to overlap each other, and they wanted to keep the same, same numbers, okay? in all the all the categories so these are all the ones you get and uh, that's uh, you know standard resistor values so thank you